Hello, and welcome to another episode of As the Earth Turns. The Divine Masculine. They're getting some big hints and clues. In fact, they're getting much more than a hint or a clue. And what does this mean? So let's get right into it here. Part of it is the attitude. And you may see this in men around you, right? You can recognize it sometimes. And again, not saying here we're here to man bash because this is not just men. This is people who primarily express masculine, carry masculine energies, especially electric masculine. Electric masculine is that action energy, right? I'm having people report it to me left and right that a lot of the men around them and some women they're going through something, but they don't care. They do care deep inside, but they actually are presenting the mask that they don't care. And they're still going through it because those big hints and clues, it's happening for them. All separation is ending. That means that they're going to be feeling this. The density is gone. The hardnesses are gone. The calluses, like when I say hardnesses, I don't mean people are brutal. I mean like all those wounds that made us build up calluses and scars. People can feel again. They're feeling sensitive. They're calling themselves empaths, super empaths, sensitives, highly sensitive people. And masculine people are too. Let me give you, you a hint how you can tell. Do you have someone in your life that, despite whatever happens, they have to be the gentleman? They could be a woman. They have to be the gentleman. They could be a man. They have to be the gentleman, right? They're always putting on their cape for someone else. They're always, like, ready to take action except for themselves. So they can present that they, are, they don't care. They're grumpy and especially stubborn. I've had several people, they need to take action on something. Quit coffee. Quit it. It's jangling your nerves. It's making you jittery. You're driving a car. You're flying a plane. You're trying to just hold a utensil and your hands are shaking. Quit the coffee. How simple is that? The clues are there, but they're being stubborn. So that's like one example. Another one is you might need a procedure. A surgery, an outpatient, physical therapy, a treatment at a chiropractor, but you're going to suck it up and ignore the pain. And this is very indicative of people who carry masculine energy. It's not always their fault. It's the way it's been. They've had to suck it up. Literally, they've had bosses that are like, suck it up. They've had families that are like, I don't want to hear it. They've had lives where, and this goes to a lot of past lives, there is no choice. There's no medical care. There's no health care. There's no vacations. There's no time off. Your time off is for sleeping or perhaps worshiping God and sleeping, maybe in that order. Preparing things for the next season, right? So we have light body promptings, okay, those nudges. People are getting to make change. Start. Start the process. Start it. Make progress with the process. Don't just trust the process. This is where you will get in trouble if the message you are sending, do not send a mixed signal or mixed message. Stop with the trust the process. No, you got to work the process. You do something, it's going to motivate your twin to do something. And I mean that. Don't be passive about certain things. You can surrender certain things to your higher self, but passivity is not an option for some of this. Light body promptings. This is going to point a lot to lifestyle. Things that they think are innocuous, but it's going to affect you big time. And it's actually affecting us as a collective. Examples are smoking, gambling, drinking, all of these vices that people have, right? Are they an adrenaline junkie? I can't tell you how many people I've done a session for where they are flat out of energy because their twin has some like really hyped up job. Like they're in the military, 
they're a emergency medical technician professional, they're an EMT, they work in an emergency room, they jump out of airplanes, they're base jumping, they are, you know, driving race cars, and trust me, it happens. And it ain't just the men, it's some women too. High risk behaviors, high risk adrenaline junkies on the other side, and drained out people on the other. Who is really working your adrenal glands to the point of fatigue? Okay, we're getting somewhere here. Drugs, and this can include over medications such as uh, antidepressants, anti-anxiety. There are things you can do on your side to help with those issues if you sense it. Smoking, too much marijuana, too much nicotine. Too many plant medicines because, yeah, plants can be toxic at some point too. Alcohol. Abstinence is one of the keys. That's supposed to be abstinence. T in there. Okay. All right. What are some of the next things? Ooh. <laughs> Even bigger hints and clues. Interpersonal tension. Personal it's personal, baby. This is going to be very immediate relationships. Children, family, siblings, parents, co-workers, colleagues, vendors, clients, etc. Interpersonal tensions. Are you sensing arguing or are you the one having arguments? Are you having a rage issue? Are you finding that you're very easily triggered and you're like, God, like, can't anyone get along with me? I'm just trying to, uh, uh. yeah, that's an issue because you're not supposed to have all that tension here where you're supposed to have feelings, feelings for your twin flame, feeling and sensing each other. I don't mean just like, oh, I love my twin flame. And you give a pat answer like that. Yeah, here, I've heard that for years. What I want is how can you sense each other? How deeply are you really sensing and feeling each other and the love and what each other needs and how you're going to motivate people? Because if you can't, it's time to join me. Arguing, discord, fights, and I'm talking about physical violence, domestic violence, losing your cool, popping off. Getting in like little tiffs with complete strangers at the store, on the road, and then, you know, I want to ask, pose a question here. We see things about people road raging, right? Everywhere, all over the world. They're road raging. They're doing really nasty things. Running people off the road, like they're driving an armored tank, right? Who is inside that person? Their twin flame. How is that twin flame going to motivate that person to... Decompress, calm down. It's not that bad. Don't ram that bicyclist. Like, we don't need to go there. Calm, calm. Feel me, okay? Miserly. A hole behaviors. Yeah, we all know people who can be an a hole. That seems to go along with the electric masculine from time to time. Sorry to say it, but it does, okay? It's hap it happens. That's a reality. No matter how fluffy we try to make it, people slip or they get in their cups, they're on drugs and alcohol, and they're just not themselves. They're grumpy. They're not doing any self-care. They're not paying attention to their emotional balance and self-regulation behaviors. And what else do they do? How many of you have been experiencing people with like weird sexual innuendos. Now some, I know some people, they're gonna enjoy that. They're like, ooh, somebody thought I was cute. It happened to me the other day. And I, I mean, I was like, it hadn't happened for so long. I was like, huh, did I just really hear that correctly? Yeah, I did. And it was a defense mechanism of the young man who did it because I wasn't buying the service to get rid of like uh, it was some extermination service and i'm like sorry no thank you it didn't matter how polite i was it veered into that territory he was going to get the upper hand because electric masculine kicked in he wanted the upper hand he was just going to let me know and i almost busted out laughing because that is how far this stuff is it, it, it's like so absurd 
I feel like sometimes I'm in the theater of the absurd. You know what I mean? But this could hurt people's feelings. Some people are like, why do they just think I'm an object? It happens to men and women. You get objectified, you get ignored. People diminish it down to like some snarky, nasty sexual remarks. Not necessary. You're not intended to live there. Nor do you need your twin to get their interpersonal tension riled up and go beat the crap out of someone. We're not doing it that way anymore. As much as there are some people who enjoy that. Ooh, they're fighting over me. <laughs> That's just so old. It is so old paradigm. So pay attention to these hints and clues. Are you interested with someone, but all they're really interested in is having drama and you're the victim of the drama. Pay attention. Be aware. I don't know if which order these should go in, money or bad relationships, because they should lead into right into bad relationships. Bad relationships, wake up and take action. There's much more to this. Bad relationships could be someone that is a marriage partner, their spouse, or you're hand-fasted to them, or you're dating them, or you're sleeping with them, you're banging the snot out of each other, and it feels worse and worse and worse. Pay attention to that. Bad relationships, wake up to the hints and clues. How does this work for men? Pain in the hips, pain in the knees, unsatisfactory, you feel like running right away, you don't feel any emotional or really spiritual connection with the person. It accounts for a lot of the Sorry, one night stands that people have. And I'm just being real here. And let's lead into right into money. Are people squandering it? And if so, on what? Okay, on what? What vices? What things that aren't necessary? Are you loading up? Or are you overpaying? Are you, you know, I mean, what's going on? Because all of these have to do with the energy that we're in. Now, in order to help you, and I want, I want to show you something, and this diagram is not drawn to scale, and I realize this might look a little weird. That is supposed to be the root chakra there, root. Big issues there. Big issues. The hara around the belly button area. Hara is your soul group and your tribe. What connections and things do you have with other people with this? that you are not intended to have with your twin flame by doing the work, by doing the light body work. Root chakra. That's going to be money relationships, marriages, interpersonal, and all these promptings that are beginning to well up. Now, if you want help with this, if you're a man and you need help, we work with your light body. If you're a woman and you need help, we work with your light body. The light body itself, when we get it open, begins to customize for you. So July 14th, we are doing the Zoom webinar, or you can have a session, coaching, and the links are below in the description. Or write me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Let us help you. I, sorry, I don't like the way that looks. And I'm going to suggest strongly please get started. We're already in July. Half this year is gone and it's time. And your twin's going to be going, are you daft? What were you thinking? Well, I was feeling stuff, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't take action. That's what I'm saying. Are you daft? Can you please get it together? She's got to motivate him from the inside. Or you could have even same you know, same, same. And there's a reason for this. Double masculine. Alchemy. When you're alchemizing masculine, masculine, it really forces things up very, very well. Everyone has a purpose and a place. There's a reason that people are born the way that they are. There's a reason that the Kundalini rush happens so that people are positioned with the things that they need to begin alleviating, unplugging from, and doing. I tried telling you, and you're just not listening. I did a meditation. Couldn't feel a thing. What do you mean can't feel a thing? I get the sense you don't care. 
yeah, it was kind of like messed up that day. I decided to get messed up. Well, I'm going to have to work on this from the inside and get rid of it. Yes. This is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. If, especially if you always have to be the gentleman. We have to do this from the inside out. The inner light body, the etheric body, your 5D connections, and that is what I teach. This is how we get rid of all the bad stuff so that you have the good stuff and you're swapping in your real connections that you need. So if you're miserable with a lot of this stuff, please know we're here to help. And I hope you join us. July 14th, Zoom webinar. It's in three parts. We'll give you first part. And please look at the description below. There's a discount code. And I hope to see you there. I'm sure I will help you. And join us. Bye.